Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well. Happy Thursday. Um, sorry, I didn't record yesterday. We actually had a storm the night before, a uh, crazy rainstorm, and they ended up canceling school because the roofs were dripping. Um, there were leaks basically in a lot of the schools, so they just canceled it, which honestly blows my mind because I remember when I was in school, we're talking like, mm, like 25 years ago or like 22, 23 years ago. Um, they didn't cancel school for shit. Okay. I remember walking to school and like the pouring rain, like torrential downpours. Um, and like, they would just have buckets everywhere throughout the school to like catch the water dripping um same with like snow like they almost never canceled school for snow I remember again walking with snow like up to my knees and it took me about 35 minutes to walk to school so walking in all that shitty weather um so it's just like wild to me like at first they delayed it by an hour um and then yesterday morning, I woke up to a text saying that it was canceled. I was like, what the fuck? So it's kind of hard to record when they're home. Um, and yesterday was just one of those days where, like, my son, my 13-year-old, was playing video games, like, the whole day. And he's very loud and rambunctious when he plays. Um, and I try not to shush him during the day because I have to shush them at night, you know what I mean? After it gets to like, you know, seven o'clock, I try to stay on them to keep it down. He gets really into it. He gets pumped, you know what I mean? Like he doesn't realize how loud he talks because he has on like these massive like headphone things. Um, so I didn't get to record yesterday. I wasn't going to shush him for me to record a YouTube video. It just didn't seem right. Um, so yeah, so um I met with my boss yesterday um, for like my one-to-one -one, and I have been debating for a long time to ask, but I finally decided to. Um, so right now I work 11 to 7.30 um, and I work with a senior agent at, you know, till 7.30. And so it goes like, um, customer service rep, customer service advocate, senior agent, supervisor, senior super, no, uh, skip something, senior agent, team lead one, team lead two, supervisor, senior supervisor. That's like the whole path, basically. There's a lot of steps. Um, so he's a senior agent. So basically he handles like any escalations that come in, and that type of good stuff. Um, so while I was out, he basically did everything on his own. Like he worked the night shift alone and he did fine. Um, you know, he's very comfortable working alone, comfortable handling like the night routine of like, you know, running reports and stuff like that. So I finally asked my boss, I was like, is there any way that I can drop down to nine to five thirty? I was like, I've never worked nine to five thirty since I've been here for nine years. When I was brought back after COVID, um, they basically told me I had to work eleven to seven thirty. Um, I said, "Is there any way that I can drop down to like nine to five thirty? And he was like, "Well, I don't really see a problem with that. You know, so and so has been doing the night shift like by himself for the past three months. He's like, and he's comfortable with it. I don't see why that would be a problem. He's like, but let me talk to his boss um, and just, you know, see if it's okay with her. He's like, but I don't really see an issue with it. I was like, oh my God. Like, if I could manifest this into reality to where I get to work nine to five thirty and be fully remote. That would be the biggest win over the past few years. This would be like totally like unbelievable, amazing. So I am trying really hard to manifest this into reality. Um, 
I've actually been trying to do that a lot, not just manifesting, but like meditating and really, really like, I guess you could say trying to find like the spiritual side of things. Um, you know, I grew up Christian. My dad was Jehovah Witness, um, two very different religions. Um, and I've always kind of struggled with religion itself because first of all, my parents, you know, were very, their beliefs were very different, but I also, you know, had a lot of questions when I was young and I just didn't really, I didn't understand why so many people say they put their problems into like God's hands and stuff like that. And like, my thing is like, you have to make your reality. Like maybe he gives paths and like you choose the path and you, but you're the one doing it. So I've never, you know, relied heavily on like praying and stuff like that, because I feel like, you know, depending what you believe in, I feel like you're in charge of your life. He may, she, he, whatever you believe in, they may give you two options and it's up to you to choose the options to get to where you want to be type of thing. Um, so I'm really trying to like manifest and just find spirituality. I have this awesome book called Project 369. And it is really freaking cool. It's all about manifesting and um, basically like centering yourself and working on just making yourself better and more aware. Um, and there's like different like meditation routines. And I've been listening to like ASMR meditation, which is like, so freaking calming it is unbelievable like amazing um and so i've been trying to do that so i again am going to manifest the hour change um you know i really don't think it's going to be an issue i strongly believe i will get the 9 to 5 30 and i will just be so happy and so thankful because that in itself takes a huge weight off of me because if I'm here when everyone else is here, I basically won't have to take escalations. It's from the 5.30 to the 7.30 where if things get busy, I have to put him on a channel. And so I'm at the forefront if an escalation comes in. Um, and as you know, that is like my biggest stressor. It gives me like, it's just, it's horrible. Um, I'm sorry, my hair like sucks today. I didn't do anything with that. Um, what, what is this? Yeah. Um, so yeah, so I am very hopeful. Um, I'm super excited. We have a three day weekend. I'm going to see my mom's boyfriend. Um, so basically I haven't really seen him since my mom's funeral. Um, he chose to, uh, now I know it wasn't like in a mean way, um, but I hadn't talked to him at all. Like he wouldn't return my texts. Um, I tried getting in touch with him to make plans like many, many times and he just wouldn't respond to me. And I thought he was mad at me because I was the one that had to, um, make the call to take my mom off the vent. Um, and I don't think he was ready for that. I think he just wanted her to still be there for longer, you know, and I totally get it. And I think about it every day, you know, did I act too fast? Was there a chance that she could be one of those people that came out of it eventually? Um, so I struggle with that as it is. And I really thought like he was upset with me over that. Turns out um, he just went through a really dark time. Um, they were together for like 18, 19 years. Um, they were best friends, you know, um, together every day. Like they worked together. Like they just, 
there were two peas in a pod. Um, and yeah, it was fucking devastating for him. It was devastating for me because she was my mom, but for him, it was a whole different level because his entire world changed. Like I didn't see my mom often. I didn't talk to her often because I would text her and she just wouldn't respond. Um, that's a whole other story. But for him, it was his entire world changed that day. Um, and it would never be the same. He would never see her again. Um, and, you know, his day-to-day -day life just stopped. So he started heavily drinking and doing bad things like that. Um, and then he went to detox for about three months um, sobered up, but then was in and out of the hospital a lot. Um, he has, he's had medical issues since the day I met him. He's had a heart issue and just like all different kinds of stuff like that. So, um, so my son texted him on Christmas and he actually texted him back. And then I started texting him and we made plans. We were supposed to go see him this past weekend, but we had a snowstorm. Um, so we're going to go there this Sunday and hang out and we get to see Callie, the cat. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that because she's a sweetheart. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I have going on this weekend, which I'm looking forward to. Last weekend I had to spend it, um, you know, part of my Saturday with my kid's dad and that wasn't fun. Um, so this weekend I'm just going to chill. And then when I pick the kids up on Sunday, we'll shoot down to New Bedford, which is about like a 45, 50 minute ride. Um, and we'll visit with him at his new apartment cause he did move. Um, so I think, I think that'll be good that I'm not going back to her old apartment. I think it'll be a little easier, um, to kind of visit you know what I mean we don't have to be in the house where it's just kind of like you're expecting her to walk in but she's not gonna um so yeah what are your plans for the weekend anything fun going on um so yeah work's been going pretty well um it's kind of like slow right now which so I work for uh, a print company. Um, and I won't give too much detail into it because you might be able to figure it out. Uh, but, you know, as with every company, you have competitors and stuff like that. And we have a competitor that is far cheaper has a shit ton of products compared to us. Um, and so, you know, the owner of the company I work for, he put out like, he does a blog post every week, basically at the end of the week and just writes like what's on his mind, stuff about the company and revenue and just like very transparent type of stuff that you wouldn't expect like, uh, you know, owner of a company to put out there. But, oh, excuse me. I swear you're not boring me. Um, I'm boring myself. Um, he was basically saying, like, they're blowing us out of the water because of, like, all the stuff that they offer. Um, and we are limited compared to them, like, as far as, like, what we offer. And, um, so I was thinking of that last night because I was watching a sports game and during the sports game, they just keep talking about our competitor and like all that they can do and stuff. And, um, it just made me think like, you know, we finally created a new website that's going to go live this year, which will allow us to have like to add more products and stuff because our website currently was built so long ago and how they built it was so like guinea rig type of thing 
So if you try to add something to the site, it breaks like five other things on the site. So it's a piece of shit. So they finally created a new website and we're going to be pushing out all kinds of new products, which to me already sounds like shit show because nothing ever goes smooth ever. Um, now we're going to have all these new products that are going to have different like time frames. Are we going to be able to keep up with the time frames? Like, you know, I just I I've been here for nine years, so I know how things go when they roll out new products <laughs> and to roll out like many, many products all at once. Very concerning for me. Very concerning. So that should be interesting. Yeah, I'm just hoping I'm also manifesting that I will get out of my customer service role in either move to training or to HR or something in between, whatever it may be. Um, I am just very hopeful that I can make that happen this year. Um, I feel like my boss might be able to help me um you know get to where i need to be um hold on one second um yeah so we shall see. I'm very positive about this year and what's to come. And I'm really going to do my best to remain positive and do what I need to do to get to where I want to be. Um, you know, I've complained long enough about it. So now I have to do something about it. Um, and again, there might not be positions that open. And that's something that I might have to deal with. But at least if during that time I start working like on my skills and like learning new things, it I'll still be working towards something else. Um, and that's how I'm going to look at it. So, um, gosh, I forgot I had coffee. Anyways. <sighs> still good. It's delightful. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of all I have going on right now. I just want to pop on and say hi. I wasn't able to yesterday and I was like, damn, man, breaking my streak. I've been getting on. I've been doing it every day. Um, I think I'm actually going to make an ASMR video next. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are all doing great. Please, if you enjoy my content, uh, subscribe, like, drop a comment if you wish. Um, and I hope you all have a great day and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.